want to introduce uh, my friend. Uh, his name is Aaron. I got to know him uh, when he first came to Singapore a few years back when he visited Grace Assembly. So uh, we struck up a friendship and uh, we kept in touch. Uh, every now and then, uh, I, will, I will call him and uh, visit him uh, with some groceries uh, to bless his, uh, his, uh, all his homemates uh, at Chelsea Home. So we have kept up the relationship and uh, uh, I've been so blessed uh, as, as I share, as, as he shares his life story. I'm so blessed. Every now and then when I meet him, right, there will always be a miracle one. Then I'll always be like, wow, I'm blown away. So uh, we are so glad that we are able to hear his testimony uh, this morning. Uh, someone who took the leap of faith to step out of uh, Toronto to Singapore and how the Lord had blessed him and led him every step of the way. So his life has been such a blessing to me. I've been so blessed by his life. Uh, and uh, many times we think we are the one who blessed them uh, with different things, with grocery. But I've been blessed by his life tremendously. Uh, and every time when I need to buy Apple stuff, wow, he always get me stuff price. All right, wow. Wow, praise God for him. Let's welcome uh, Aaron as he shares his story with us uh, this morning. Uh, his partner is here as well, Yan Jin. Want to welcome her as well. Uh, and Aaron's family, uh, brother and brother, uh, his brother is here as well with the family. Let's wave to them. All right, come, Aaron. Okay. Can can okay can hi hi everyone. Wow, the it's quite funny to see your story being played out lah. But I think the the youth uh, did a good job. Uh, yeah, it's quite funny lah. So you can give them applause lah. So I'm the real Aaron. Wait lah, let me. So hi, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm 41 this year, years this year. Um, the valley is the valley is not always where we are found in, but God puts us to a season in that valley because He has His reasons. After going through the, the experience, there is hope. There is um, completeness and maturity in our character. I was born in Singapore in a Christian family with two boys and two girls. Uh, I'm the second child. Uh, we had godly influences and were taught teachings of Jesus from the Bible at an early age. God blessed me with the love for Christianity and the, a love for serving Him. I was always very enthu enthusiastic at, about Christian camps and events. The Holy Spirit gave me joy at a very young age. God was building hope in me. Uh, so there's a passage in uh, Romans 12 verse 12, uh, be joyful in hope, patient in reflection, and uh, faithful in prayer. Growing up, I didn't see myself uh, as differently from my peers or my three other able uh, body siblings. I did all the things that an average kid would do, except I could sense I was different because my movement um, seemed slower. Like I was doing everything that everyone was doing just underwater. My life started to change when I was diagnosed uh, with a form of uh, muscular dystrophy at 12. It's something I've been battling with ever since. Uh, but I'm determined to get myself strong. But I have no control on the progress of this condition or how it weakens my arms and legs, slowly depriving me of my abilities most take for granted. At about 10, 10 years ago, when I was when I just turned thirty, uh, I suddenly lost the ability to stand from a sitting down position. Then six years ago, I wasn't able to start. I wasn't. Uh, I started not being able to climb the stairs. That was when I started to need assistance. It was an. It was an incredibly humbling, needing to rely on others for help. When simple things of everyday tasks used to be 
used to be so, I used to be able to do, just suddenly seem impossible. I have been living in uh, Toronto for nine years with my family when I decided to come back to Singapore for a few main reasons. I was approaching my late 30s and my three other siblings was married and um, progressed with the next chapters of their life and I desired to do, uh, be in the same position. I was craving independence and, and didn't want to be a burden to my parents, my aging parents who have already, because of uh, my family, have sacrificed a lot. And the Canadian winters are very brutal. Uh, so for a person who, is, who doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, need, uh, has to buffer myself a lot more. And I desire to uh, deepen my walk with God uh, through this uh, journey. So I relocated back into Singapore um, on the 30th of August uh, 2018, so about four years ago, um, at the age of uh, 37, alone, with no accommodation, no plans, and battling with a physical condition. To say the odds were stacked against me was an understatement. I wanted to cry, I was afraid, and especially, I did, especially since I didn't have any com accommodation beyond my first week of, of, of stay. I was quite garang, la, so I just uh, booked my first week of stay only. Um, to talk uh, about the leap of faith. But God hasn't failed me. I got a place, at, I got a place miraculously in a short period of time at a nursing home, as you've seen, uh, at Cheshire Home, which, uh, which is a home for the physically disabled. More doors open, and soon after, I, I got a job at Apple as a specialist. Uh, yeah, but I'm still using Samsung. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful for the opportunity and for the company being so supportive and inclusive of every turn, even keeping my role um, for me during these pandemic times. Yeah, it's uh, very grateful to them. And um, yeah, so since the, since the pan COVID uh, pandemic began, I've been subjected to three lockdowns, literally, and the longest of which was uh, nine months. So we were all stuck in the home, couldn't even uh, go out, even for our daily necessities to even buy groceries or uh, just have a walk or change of environment. But we're just uh, in the home and compound. On top of that, uh, soon, uh, beginning of the, this year, um, I fractured my leg yeah, while doing therapy and uh, had to endure a lot of pain. If you ever uh, broken something, uh, it's quite painful. <laughs> so, yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience. And uh, being in a, in a chair, and a wheelchair, and uh, having a fractured leg, uh, I look like a Russian tank. But then I didn't even know that uh, soon after I fractured my leg, uh, Singapore was opening up. And uh, it was quite a frustrating ordeal la, because I was in the cast, so I had to rest at home. So there's this book um, called um, Where is God When It Hurts by Philip Yancey. I recommend that book. La. It's a good read. The, the author explained about um, how pain was uh, designed by God and, um, and it's part of God's design. So like um, an example from Job, uh, we don't have to need an explanation from God about everything He does. We just have to trust Him fully instead. We have to look at the positive. We have to look at the positive side of things and not of the bitter side of things. Uh, that will uh, allow your heart to always be uh, positive and um, not looking at the pain always. So where, where is God when it's hurt? When it hurts, He's there. He may not, I may not know all the answers, but I have to trust Him fully and uh, put our hope in Him. So God worked out something good through the pandemic. Um, God brought uh, Yen Chin into my life. Being in a relationship is, um, makes my days happier. 
if you ask me personally, uh, all this is certainly a work of uh, a supernatural God and not of my own orchestration. Like uh, you saw in the skit. After removing my cast, um, then it was the, um, the progress of uh, recovery, which was quite painful because I've been in the cast for five months. So uh, my joints were, uh, I fractured my left leg, so the, my knee and my ankles were stiff during that, that time. So to um, recover, you have to bend it. And um, to bend it, you have to endure a lot of pain. And then um, now, then after you progress, then you strengthen um, my legs so that it will be uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be restored to the same uh, position as before. So my so I'm still hopeful to reach my short-term goal of uh, standing independently, but it takes a lot of uh, hard work. And this month, uh, after finally after combine of two and a half years, um, I finally got back to work. It's been a long uh, progress, and uh, but then like, uh, God is good. Lah. And um, so, uh, but I'm really happy to uh, serve my customers again and to be out, out and about. It's the most uh, happiest thing that, 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 that I feel at the moment. And uh, this time when I'm, I'm back at the, at the home, at the, at the store, um, there's uh, more things to talk to customers because I've got more experiences through the pandemic. So I pray that this, um, this will be a testament. Uh, my story and my testimony will be a testament of God's goodness um, to everyone whom I share because it's Christ in me, the hope of glory. So thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Okay, those uh, of you who think that you cannot do it with your life challenges, whenever you look at Aaron, wow, uh, nothing is impossible with God. Let's praise God. Hallelujah. Okay.